Hey guys, welcome to another video, another question. So today I want you guys to have a quick revision on you know, volumes and surface areas. So yes, mensuration is something that could be asked in few entrances and you should know the basic formulas associated to areas, volume, surface area of certain shapes. Okay, so uh, here are my two questions to discuss with you. Diameter of a roller is 2.4 and it is 1.68 meters long. If it takes 1000 complete revolutions once over to level a field, the area of the field is. So from the roller, we have to move down to the uh, entire field. Okay. And these are the options given to us. So let's see what we have. We have diameter of the roller is 2.4 and length is 1.68 meters okay so <clears throat> surface area if i look at the surface area of this roller the surface area of the roller would be Surface area of the roller would be 2 pi r h, right? Wherein radius we have and length. Also, we have 1.68, which will be, you know, counted as a height. So, it will turn out to be 2 into 22 upon 7 for pi into radius is, radius is uh, 1.2. Because diameter is 2.4, so radius is 1.2, and height is 1.68, right? So, yes, you will have to calculate this, and you will figure out that you're getting 12.672 square meter as the surface area. Now, what's happening uh, in one complete, the information given to us is that in one complete revolution, the roller covers this much only because that's the surface area, right? And in the question, what is given to us, it takes 1000 complete revolutions in order to cover the entire field. So one revolution covers how much area? 12.672. So 1,000 revolutions will cover 12.672 into 1,000. So that gives you 12,672. And if 1,000 revolutions, uh, you know, with 1,000 revolutions, we are able to cover the entire field. That means this is the area of the field. So the correct answer should be 12,672 square meter. And do we have that option? Yes, we do. 12,672. So that's A option. 12,672. Okay. Another question based on, again, surface area and, uh, um, you know, immensuration basically. If base diameter of a cylinder is increased by 50%, then how much percent? Its height must be decreased so that, so to keep its volume unaltered. So let's talk about volume here. So we are given the percentages as our options. We need to figure out if base diameter is increased by 50%. So say your diameter is. How to solve this question? The easiest way to solve this question is that you let. Let in the sense, first of all, what you need to know is volume kya hota hai. The cylinder ka volume kya hota hai. Volume of any cylinder. The formula is pi r square h. That's what is volume of uh, any, any cylinder, right? So, up. Ab soch ke chalo. Yahan par we don't have exact uh, you know, numbers for radius and height. So, we soch ke chalna padega. The easiest way would be, here they have written base diameter. 
diameter is getting increased by 50%, automatically radius is also getting increased by 50%, right? Both the same rahega relation. So initially, if my radius, radius ke baare mein agar hum baat kare, to radius, just assume kar lo, radius was 2. Radius was 2. Let's just assume radius was 2. Now there is a 50% increase in the radius. 50% increase, increase in the radius in R. So 50% of 2. 2 tha initially. So 50% of 2 is 1. So that means 1 ka increase a gaya. So the new radius is 3. The new radius is 3, right? Ab height. Height, humare paas na pehle thi na ab hai. We have to actually find out the relation that if I have to keep the volume same and I'm increasing radius, then that means automatically I will have to reduce height. So by what percentage I need to reduce, right? So height, maan lo, ye x hai aur ye y hai. Initially was x and now it is y. So I'll have to figure out ki ye percentage change kya hai. Let's find it out. Now in both the cases, volume kya hogi? Volume in this case will be 4x, right? 4, 4x with pi, of course. And here it will be with pi 9y. Pi r square h, right? That's the volume. So, agar ab hum dekhe, <coughs> volume we need to keep equal, okay? If I have to keep the volume equal, that means, if I have to keep the volume equal, that would mean that 4x should be equal to 9y, right? So, this means, this would mean that 4x is equal to 9y and in terms of the ratio of the height, if I look at the ratio of the height, x by y, x by y should be equal to four by uh, 9 by 4. x by y is equal to 9 by 4. So, ho kya hai so this means, uh, let's talk in terms of height. Initially, height was x. And then it was y, right? So in terms of numbers, if I think, because this proportion is, this is equal. So I can say, initially say it was 9, then it is 4. For all this, these things to happen, then in terms of numbers that we have taken, initially, agar 9 tha height, to ab jo hai wo 4 hai. So what is the percentage change? There's a change of 5. So change in height, what is the change in height? There is a change of 5. Okay. What is the change percentage? Change percentage in height. What is the change percentage in height? 5 ka change aya hai. Initially kya tha? How will you find out change percentage? Change upon what is the, what was the initial? Initial was 9 in terms of percentage. So multiplied by 100. So, it's 500 upon 9, which essentially means 55 point something. Aega. Do we have that kind of an option? Yes, 55.56. Yes, that's what it will turn out to be. So, yes, we do have that option. So, the correct answer should be B, which is 55.56. Okay. And that's how, you know, you got to use the formula, formulas, basically. So, I would request you at this junction, go through all the formulas of area, volume, surface area. It's not that difficult, really. And then there and then you will have to use some logic. Uh, the questions are simple. It's not that they would be very heavy. In case you have this kind of a question, you can always, you know, let certain values and calculate to get your ultimate correct answer. I hope this will help. Thank you.